Hi, my name is Platone, and on my channel we're learning Python together. Today I will teach you about a new chapter, Going Loopy. In this chapter you'll learn how to use loops. Nothing's worse than having to do the same thing over and over again. So that's why we use loops, so we don't have to repeat our code a lot of times. Example of a loop is this. For x in range brackets 10 colon print x. Do you know what this does? It prints 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are different types of loops. One goes on forever until you stop it. The one I use is a loop that repeats how many times you want it to repeat and makes a variable, which tells you the number of times it got repeated. To make it, you need to put four, then you need to put a variable name. I did a simple name, but you can do it however you want to be. Then put range, and after that put brackets. Don't put a space between the brackets and the range. Inside the brackets, put the number of times you want to repeat, and then finally put a colon. If you don't, you'll get an ear. Then, when you put the text you want to repeat, the lines you want to repeat must be tabbed. So you put four spaces at the beginning of the lines or line in the loop. We first add one. Then we print number and then that's how the program works. Here's another example of the same kind of loop. First, before we start, please type these two lines of code. Import turtle. T equals turtle dot pen. Remember in the sixth video we made a square like this? T dot forward fifty. T dot left ninety. 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 We can use three lines to create the same thing as the previous eight lines. So how to do it? First T dot reset. Next, for x in range. For T dot forward fifty. T dot left ninety. Now another type of the loop is similar to the first one, but to do this one we need to create a list. So let's create one. List equals Evie Pikachu. Pika and Raichu. Four. Now we type a variable name, X. Now we type in. And then we type the list name. 
list. Then in there we type print x. And how, guess how the program works? Pause the video here and think about it. This code is a way of saying for each Pokemon in the list, store the Pokemon name in the val val variable x. And print x shows the value of x. Now, to stop a loop while running, we can use the function break. For example, v equals zero. For x in range 10. V equals V plus 1. Print V. If V equals to 5. Break. You see, the loop stopped when it should have been running. And the final loop I'll show you is while wow loops. These loops keep on running forever until you stop it. Stop point equals zero. While one. If stop point Equal stop point. Plus one. Print stop point. If stop point. Equals. Two, one hundred, break. First, we create a variable, stop point. Then we create the loop, a while one. In the loop, we add one every time the loop repeats. And print stop point. Then we check if stop point is equal to 1000. If yes, the loop stops. Here's a programming challenge you can do. Make a sprout spiral by using the lowest amount of lines you can think of. And the spiral must look like a spiral. Good luck. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, why don't you click the like button? If you loved my video, why don't you subscribe so you can see more awesome videos? Bye!